Brats, as we've been checking out more and more chairs on the channel, more gaming chairs and things keep rolling in, we got an offer from a company called Odin Lake to send us an ergonomic chair. So you know there's this battle kind of going on between gaming chairs and ergonomic office chairs. So they sent us this chair for $600. Let's talk about it. So first of all, this is meant to be a more professional style chair. It's not meant to look like a gamer's chair. This is meant to be comfortable, adjustable, and fit to your body. So does it do that? It's got a lot of functions here. Armrests can go all the way forward like that, or stay back. They go out on either side, or they go in, depending on where you want your arms to rest. And they sort of turn. Now the turns don't click, they don't lock or anything, they just kind of hang out out there. So you've got an adjustable head pad, to fit you nice and cozy. Interesting one that I hadn't seen before. There's a switch way down here that moves the butt pad in and out. And that actually does lock. So the butt pad locks in place, unlike these, which can always easily be moved if you bump it like that. Drops back. You can lock the back, if I can ever find the handle. Oh, it's this one. Locks in the main position, so you can't push it back at all. That's the second locked position there, which is quite a bit of recline if you're trying to work on stuff. And then it locks in the fully reclined position there, which obviously you must be watching movies on your phone at work or something. There's nothing you can do at this point. And then last, you have a lumbar support, which can adjust up or down. Can't get any closer or further away from you. As someone who loves gamer chairs, has sat in a lot of gamer chairs, what is it like to sit in an ergonomic office chair? <sighs> this one? It's not great. It feels like a decent office chair. It feels like when I had office jobs, manager's jobs, this would have been a fine chair. I would price this chair maybe 250. It's probably what I would expect in my head it would cost. I think 600 is asking a lot for this chair. Everything about it feels kind of cheap. From the armrests always moving, the lumbar support in the back, if you saw when I touched that, it's wobbly, it's not very locked in place. I mean, this is in position right now, this is locked. It always still has this flexibility and moves around. The top part takes very little pressure to drop. And this thing, once you lock it in position, it's still got a lot of wobble. So what is a $600 chair worth? I don't think that ergonomic chairs are bad. And I am interested in trying more of the nice ergonomic style chairs. You've probably seen some of those. I think Jack Septic guy uses one of the like $2,500 ergonomic chairs. This I think is overpriced and is nothing special. Not only is nothing on it solid or stays in place, but this looks professional. These look professional. This, I don't know how well you're seeing that on camera. This looks like your grandma's old blanket that she gave you that you bring out when she comes over and it looks horrible. This pattern just looks cheap and ugly. And then if you get in here and look at some of the details, like this right here, where this reaches, sewed onto the edge there, looks pretty flush and flat. Look at this one right here. This chair is still brand new. It's like curled back and it's stuck on there. It doesn't seem like it's loose, but it's it's not it's not something $600. It's not. Odin Lake did send this to us, <laughs> free of charge to test out. And I will say some other things, it's all metal. I mean, this thing is solid. You look at these metal arms, come into the metal base. This whole thing's metal. This right here though, what color were they thinking with those on the wheels? And yeah, their wheels are on the ground, but again, ugly color, ugly color. And you paid 600 bucks for it. I imagine you're here because you bought this chair, you're thinking about buying it. Don't spend $600 on this chair. That's an insane price for what you're getting here. So let's talk about, real briefly, the difference between what $600 for an ergonomic chair gets you versus $500, which is an extremely expensive gamer chair. You probably saw the video of this if you've been here on the channel that just came out before this video. This is the DX Racer Air Mesh chair. This is $500 and it is so comfortable. Way more than this ergonomic chair. The armrests actually lock in place, even if you turn them, they lock there. Everything about this screams better ergonomics than this chair. Should you go buy a $600 office chair, maybe there might be really good ones. But what I've learned from this brand so far is $600 goes a lot further on a gaming chair than it does on an office chair. So what do you think out there? This is my first foray into these professional style office chairs. So we're learning as we go. I would love to hear from one of you if you've tried other ones, less money that you would say are really good. Cause I think this thing might be a little bit of a rip off at its current price. So let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you out there and talk about it. I'll see you in another reality.